So I'm going to show you how to reverse a, a link list. So as you can see here, like the previous is going left and next is going to the right. <clears throat> but if you're doing a link list, you just want to reverse everything. You want to make it where next is going to the left and previous is going to the right. So that means um, uh, everything will reverse. So you see I made that correction. Um, a and B, um, the nodes, are, we're not going to mess with the node position. We're just mess, we're messing with the next and previous position. So how do we do that? So that's a better diagram, um, basically what we're doing. And this would still be A. Um, but as you can see, the previous shifts to the next, and the next shifts to the previous. <clears throat> so, first of all, you're going to start with um, the re um, creating the reverse. And you want to create uh, a variable called current that points to the head. Because we don't want to alter the, node, the actual node of the head. It'll come in handy till the end. We're going to use that to actually um, um, do some um, tweaks. So what we need to do is we need to do a while loop. So remember, current is placed where the head's at. And these nodes have a next and a previous variable. So we're going to loop um, through, the, through all the nodes, however, however how many, however, um, how many, <laughs> sorry, uh, however many there are. So we're going to do a while loop and we're going to go current.next. <clears throat> and we're going to stop till when we hit null. And then we'll know that we're at the end. Also, we want to create a variable um, called temp and we want to establish it as null. Temp is going to be a placeholder that allows us to kind of switch things out. So the next step is we just want to set our temp uh, to the previous. The, these are not connected. Like we didn't say um, current.previous equals um, temp. Um, we didn't say, yeah, we didn't do that. We just set our temp to this um, to this part right here, to this previous part. And it's a little tricky, <clears throat> but you'll see what's happening. So the next thing we do is we take current.prev, which is this location, and we actually say, hey, we want it to go to the right on the next. Because remember, if we go back to slide one, we want that orange to be on the right-hand side, as you see here. And we want the green to be on the left-hand side. We want to switch the, um, the traffic, if you will. All right. So are we didn't do anything with our temp. We just said, hey, current.prev is equal to current.next. We put it in this position. Then next is we said current.next. Now we want this to kind of, instead of go right, we want it to go left. So we're going to point it to temp, which is currently on current.prev. See, it's important because if we if we were to say if we were to say current dot next equals current dot prev, which essentially this says, we would point we'd be pointing at the same spot. But since we um, set the pointer to this state before it changed to here, um, we're good. So how this looks like a little better, it looks like that. So that's how it looks like right now. Next is pointing to the temp, and prev is po pointing to the next. All right. So the last thing that we want to do is, so to to um, to make the loop do its thing. See, we want current was here at the head. We don't want current at the head. We want current at current dot next. No. If we did current dot next, we would be going back because we reversed it. So we want to do current dot prev, which is going the opposite way. It's a little tricky. 
All right. So then the last part is, this is why um, we didn't want to alter uh, this dot head and this dot tail. We wanted to have a, um, a, a pointer to it because we don't want to mess with the state. So initially its head was here. So these nodes are pointing the right way. But the problem is that head is still starting right here. And, and that means it wouldn't have reversed. Things will get all junky. We want head to go to the other side. So the way we do that is we can use temp um, because um, it, it, it was a let variable, so we can change it. We're going to say, hey, temp is, um, let's, oops, let's do it this way. So we, we want temp to um, point here. Temp is pointing there. All right. So we want to say this dot head, we want to move it to the tail. So that's what we did right here. And now we want the tail to point at the head, so which is right here. And there we go. And that's how you reverse a doubly linked list. I hope this was helpful, and it would be nice if you subscribed as well. See you later.